Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the hollow holographic hair technique that has been going viral lately. I first kind of really got inspired when I saw a guy named Fab Hair by Josh on Instagram. He posted so many different variations of this technique on his Instagram and he actually has an Instagram stories video showing exactly how he does things. If you would like to check that out, I highly recommend. He's definitely the first person I saw doing this technique and definitely inspired me to recreate it or at least try to. This was my first time ever using Pulp Right hair color and I am going to tell you the exact formulas of everything that I did. I'm gonna show you the sectioning for everything. I'm gonna show you exactly what Fab Hair by Josh said to do to get this kind of like halo prism technique. I definitely didn't mean for mine to come out as neon or as electric as it did. It was kind of aiming for more pastel. I mean, we have pastel like lavender on the bottom, but the rest is pretty like Lisa Frank vibes. And honestly, I love it. I'm so here for it. I am like obsessed with how this turned out. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I'm so excited to share with you guys how to do this. I will be leaving timestamps in the description box down below because this is probably gonna be a long video. So if you just wanna jump to me applying the hair color, look for the timestamps. Let's just jump into it. I bought a blonde mannequin on Amazon. It was only $28. It was very inexpensive. So I didn't expect it to be like super high quality. When I got it, it was definitely a very strawberry blonde kind of color, very warm toned. So I went ahead and bleached bleached it and just went in with 30 volume bleach and let that sit on for way too long. I accidentally fell asleep while the bleach was on this mannequin's hair and I woke up at 4 a.m. and was like, oh shit. So it was probably on the mannequin's head for about five hours. Needless to say, it did not appreciate that. She lost a lot of hair in that journey. Oh, it was a tragic ordeal. It was very bad, as you can see here. She lost massive clumps of hair, so to say she's been through it is an understatement. But it did help significantly lighten the hair to where I felt like it could pull maybe pastel possibly, but obviously that is not the case. I got neon because her hair was not pastel and like a pure white color to begin with. It was still kind of in that yellow stage. Like I said, Josh shows exactly how to do this on his Instagram, so I just copied his sectioning exactly. I did have to give this mannequin a side part because she is missing a chunk of hair on one side. Before I bleach her, I did do a little test strand of bleach to see if her hair could even handle being bleached. And that entire strand fell out in that process. So she had a little bald spot we needed to correct. So she does have a s side part instead of a center part, but Obviously, if you're not correcting a bald spot, you can just do a center part and that's fine. Or just match the parting to where they part their hair. So I did a off-center horseshoe part kind of matching where she parted her hair and then just followed everything that Josh said to do. I aimed to try and get a pastel lavender like he has. I'm going to tell you guys my exact formulations in just a second. So let's talk about all the colors that I bought to make this work. To achieve my like Lisa Frank style colors, I bought Cupid, which obviously is a hot pink, Lemon, which is a bright yellow, Area 51, which is a green that is marketed as neon, but honestly, it's a little translucent. Clear, just to help sheer things out. I'm pretty convinced clear is just white conditioner, but I don't know for sure. Tragic, which is a very blue, blue, maybe like a little bit on the slate side, a cool tone blue. Lilac, which is a true pastel lilac, a little vibrant, like a little kind of on the neon pastel side, if that makes any sense. And Velvet, which is a pure purple. My alley had to try that one out. First of all, as a hair colorist, the packaging is really appealing to me. No, this video is not sponsored. Yes, I wish it was. The packaging is super appealing because it's a little pop top, so you can easily shut this and reuse it, no problem. Pravana has like little screw caps, and also another thing about Pulp Riot, 
was the colors don't bleed together. If I were to try and accomplish the same exact color look with Pravana colors, all of the colors would bleed together when I went to wash them. I know because I've tried in the past, and it just looks like a hot mess. So I decided to use only Pulp Riot to achieve this because that's what everyone on Instagram was using. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a go. I even saw a video of somebody like wringing it all together in her hands while it was wet and it didn't like transfer. And that's pretty much what sold me. I was like, all right, that looks interesting. Let's try it. I had a really pleasant experience with it. I thought, it colored beautifully. The colors turned out more vibrant than I expected, which was a nice surprise. Love that. It definitely it looks like oil slick Lisa Frank, and I just, I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm like, should this be my hair? Maybe, like, it's so beautiful. I really like it a lot. It's just really fun. It's really different. It's something totally unique. To accomplish this is you're pretty much gonna color everything below the horseshoe, whatever color you want. Like I said, I was trying to kind of match the pastel lavender from the video that originally inspired me to do this. And I got somewhere kind of close. I don't know. I don't really love how the bottom color turned out. It was kind of an accident. And honestly, I can't even tell you the formula for it because like I said, it was kind of an accident and I don't love how it turned out. Don't recommend that one. But I did use a different purple on top for like the root section and on the purple and the rainbow. And I like that purple a lot better. So for that formula, I ended up using 60 grams of lilac. 10 grams of violet, 50 grams of clear, and I really liked that combination, so I thought that was a much prettier purple, so that's the one I kept the formula for. For the pink, I mixed 20 grams of Cupid, 10 grams of lemon, and 10 grams of clear. For the yellow, I just used straight up 20 grams of lemon. For the green, I used 30 grams of Area 51, 5 grams of lemon, 12 grams of clear, and 2 grams of tragic. For the blue, I used 15 grams of tragic and two grams of area 51. That pretty much ended up being all the colors that I used to create the rainbow. So now we can move on to talking about how to achieve that part. Once you have covered all of the bottom sections in whatever color you chose, you're gonna move along to that top horseshoe section that you have sectioned out. Take a shot every time I say section in this video. You're going to over direct that section in front of the client, mannequin, whoever's face. Over direct it to where it's in the center of their face and then you're going to start applying your rainbow. This is where you can get super, super creative with things. If I could recommend anything to myself, it would be to go back in time and try and make the rainbow strands smaller and more precise. I knew that that was gonna be an issue, but I still really like how it turned out, especially for my first time ever trying this. <laughs> so you take the strands and make them very thin, like you need to be able to see through each section that you're pulling, basically, because what you're gonna do is copy your rainbow onto the first strand of hair, and then you're going to take that really thin section on top of that one, and do the exact same rainbow that you see underneath it. The underneath one is your guide pretty much. But as you move along, you can start applying the rainbow bottom to top. And if you do that, it helps hold the hair, kind of like anchor it in place in the bottom. And that just helps apply things a little bit smoother. However, I think I prefer still coloring everything just straight top to bottom. I tried both ways out in this video. And I think I prefer just, I, I think I got a smoother blend when I was applying the color from top to bottom rather from bottom to top. So that's something I kind of figured out along the way, but you just honestly like infinitely repeat that. Just that same thing over and over, just repeat that. You have no hair left, you have nowhere left to go, and that's how you get it. That's how it turns out this beautiful. Every now and then I did kind of feel like the rainbow was getting out of hand, like too far off base. So what I would do is place a new foil down and kind of start the rainbow over again because I just felt like I had gotten the coloring off a little too much. 
So sometimes I would kind of start over in that way in this pattern. So I think that helped blend things even further. I definitely don't recommend leaving bleach on a mannequin's hair that long. As you saw, I lost so much hair off of this mannequin, but honestly, for the price of this mannequin, I am highly impressed. I cannot believe that there is a head of hair at all on this mannequin, honestly. So I'm pretty impressed with it. It took it like a champ. I mean, Pulp Riot color clearly is a little conditioning because it made the hair a little softer and a little smoother, which is great. I also want to note whenever I went in and straightened it to style it, I used probably about 50% heat that my straightening iron does. I I think that's really important to note because when your hair has been so bleached and so color treated, the last thing it needs is the highest setting of heat on any heat device that you're using. So if your hair has been highlighted, balayage, ombre, color treated at all with bleach in any way, like me, I have all over bleach on my hair because it's purple. I will always use like the middle of the road setting on heat tools with my hair. So that's what I did with this is just used a very low heat setting and tried to only make one pass with the straightener only. This girl's ends are real, real crunchy after all that bleaching, they're real bad. But that's kind of, you know, the nature of the mannequin. Mannequins come in already being bleached, already being box dyed. And then for me to bleach it again and accidentally leave it on for five hours, it was a really bad combination. But the color definitely helped soothe it a little bit. Just be very gentle if you do have color treated hair with bleach, always use a lower heat setting because that will really help prevent a lot of damage to your hair if you have to use heat on it at all. Otherwise, try to not use heat on it on a daily basis. I only wash my hair once a week. I've actually been doing this for years. I'm actually on day 14 right now. My hair's very overdue for a wash, but I'm a big believer in not drying your hair out when it's color treated because it's already so fragile and it's already so delicate. <laughs> but this is so beautiful. I'm just like, oh, this is amazing. Like, I love this technique. I'm so excited that I learned this from Instagram. Like, who would have thought? What? I love this. Thank you so much to Hair by Josh or Fab Hair by Josh, sorry. I'll leave all of his info down below because this is amazing. I love this technique now. It's so beautiful. Like, I love it. Like I said, whenever I went to go rinse this mannequin, I had no issues with any of the colors bleeding together. Like if I tried this with Pravana, that yellow would not be there anymore. It would just be like orange. It blended out really beautifully because of how thin of sections you take and how everything gets over directed. And that's what really helps create this pattern. It's just gorgeous. I love this. I want to do this on someone's head so badly. I'm just like, if you live in Austin, Texas and you want hair like this. Hit me up. Once I finished applying all the color in the horseshoe section, I let this process for about 45 minutes and then I rinsed it out with cool water. I didn't go for like ice cold water or anything over dramatic, but I did use kind of lukewarm water to rinse out the colors. If this was a real client, I'd be very curious to see how this fades over time because I feel like it could definitely just go like really pastel and super cool or just like, I don't even know what would happen, but I'm obsessed with it. Also, Pulp Riot hair color smells really nice. I don't know how to describe it other than just like clean and fresh. It's not like a fruity scent. It's not a fr like floral scent at all. Like it's just like clean and fresh. It smells really nice, but I, I'm obsessed with this. I can't stop playing with it. Like, I love it. I love how it turned out. I did want to include a couple of clips of how people on Instagram cleverly style hair and position hair to make it look like it's colored even cooler. And I think that's something that's very interesting that nobody has really talked about, but I'll see photos of people who have done amazing hair color, but then the way that they've combed the hair or situated the hair for the photo just accentuates it. I wanted to show a little bit about how people go about that and how people kind of position and style hair. I think it's very clever. I think it's very useful. 
and I think it really helps show off the color pattern in a lot of different ways so I love it I'm a big fan of that this hair is so much fun like it truly reignited like my passion for hair so that being said I have a lot of leftover hair color so please let me know if there's any hair patterns you would like to see me attempt next I had so much fun doing this like I would love to do it I'll just keep buying mannequins and keep giving them like cool rainbow ass hair like I love it I think it's so incredible it's so badass please someone let me do this to their head I love it it would look so good in real life like <sighs> do I want this as my hair maybe it's just like oh. I, I love this. I think this is amazing. It's pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, I put out new videos every single Wednesday. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel a lot and make sure that more people see this video and stuff like that. Pulpright, hit me up. <laughs> If you want to work with me, I want to work with y'all. This was amazing. I love this color. It's beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try and get back to you as soon as possible. Did I tell you I'm a hairstylist? I don't know if I mentioned that. I've been a licensed hairstylist for 12, for 12 years. Holy shit, no. Since 2012, so for around eight years now, I have been a licensed hairstylist, so I know a little bit about hair. I'll leave any and all questions down below. I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!